G'day guys, welcome to GJ Bricks. I thought I'd do a impromptu channel update, what have I been doing video. I haven't been posting much lately, as you know. Uh, I will say, because it's usually so late when I get around to doing videos, I'm too tired to do them. It's now 10.25 here. Uh, my kids have gone to bed finally, although one of them is awake again. It's just exhausting. So that's why I've not been posting much. But I have been building a lot. Uh, there's lots of things happening. Studsburg is behind you right now, and it's happening again. There's things happening. There's stuff I've been rearranging boxes and stuff so I can get over to bits of the city now. So it's happening. Things are coming along. And I will do an update, I promise, um, sometime this year. No, hopefully in the next week or so. Uh, I've just got um, a couple more bits of wood to cut and then put some things in and then, yeah. But I have been working on other stuff, as you can see. I've been organizing my room. I thought I'd do a camera angle from here rather than that way like I usually do. It's a bit more interesting. I've been sorting through bricks. I've got more sorting to do, but I am making a progress on it. I'm still sort of figuring out systems. This is predominantly sort of the small parts, which I have a lot of, or some bigger parts like plates and things like that and uh yeah there's, there's some roller coaster track in here and stuff like that so yeah lots of sort of small parts and things like that and it's actually really helped me to knock out stuff quite quickly now because i was working on some new containers last night knocked out a, another one of these last night just sort of oh, another two of these in about 20 minutes while i was on a live stream with tasman bricks and several other people so yeah trying some different styles even got ladders on them now as well so I will do some updated videos on that I'm actually planning to do sort of some stuff to go inside and things like that and actually make them sort of a bit more a bit more things happening with them I've got something on my desk here you can see which I will do a video on soon I'm saving that one although some people did see it last night in Tasman's stream um, but I'll do a proper video on that one I'm gonna have some fun with it and uh, I've been building lots of sets I did start redoing my lighthouse as well those of you who follow me on Instagram would have seen photos of it on there it was making progress it was probably 80% of the way through rebuilding it and then I knocked it on the floor and boom it was gone but the rebuild of it is going actually better because in knocking it to the floor I came up with a better idea I think so fingers crossed I will um, work on that one I'm actually getting another set the next couple of days which I want to build and review so I'm gonna get back on my reviews and get that done I've sort of got an idea of when I'm gonna do that but it requires my smallest child to actually sleep during the day um, but anyway, that's a different story again. Um, so my plan is to uh, actually do that and incorporate that into the Lighthouse mock. And I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love it. <laughs> uh, what else has been happening? Things like Sesame Street. I do need to find a home for this. I love this. I need to do a, I'm going to do a, a review on this one. This It's so... Such a perfect little set. There's so much going on in it. Such a great scene. I mean, the dollhouse look... That can be finished off quite easily. My good friend Dr. McBrigg did a video on that, which was worked really well. I, I, I liked it. Um, so I'm going to do something similar as well. I've got a few things in my theme park to do. And I'm actually going to start putting my Ninjago stuff down, even though it's not right. I, Ninjago, I've got just epic ideas, and it's I don't know when I'm ever going to get to it, because I'm going to need so many bricks, I might have to sell a kidney to actually build it. But we'll get there. Oh, I did another build the other day as well with, with my kids. I got this one. To build with my kids i thought this was the absolutely perfect set to build as a team and my middle children did actually help put all the minifigures together and just my eldest built most of the rest of it with my help so yeah we had a fun couple of hours putting that together so thank you for that one matt great design love it road plates are going in as well if you've seen photos on my instagram again gj underscore bricks on instagram because somebody else is gj bricks um yeah, road plates are starting to be laid in the city as well. So I, I like them. They do need extending. And I'm also going to do, uh, I think it was uh, Mr. Bookie Boo showed a trick on how to raise your um, modulars and things like that so that you can actually put a curb in without having to sort of use lots of bricks and go down the path of uh, building the sort of raised plates. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll, I'll show you my progress on that one too. Uh, trains, 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 trains. My good old, my, my favorite, uh, which one's this? 60198? Uh, or 60197? 60197. I think this is the 197. Has um, had an upgrade. You can see doing some changes here, playing with it. I'm not happy with that door yet. 
Well, I'll have to show you it in close up. Let me see. There we go. Is it going to focus? Come on, little fella. Damn, this camera doesn't like. I'm getting a new camera too. There we go. So yeah, just time of actually turning this into a bit of a door. Uh, all the carriages have been extended now, so they're 28 long, not 24. Um, it was looking a bit strange next to the Horizon Express, so I decided to just go the whole hog and extend the whole train. So again, another video to do. Um, oh, got this one recently too. I had so many like sets I bought and found and forgot I had. Lloyd's Dragon, love it. It's not quite as good as the one in the movie, but it is damn good. I love the head on it. Awesome head. Um, yeah, I did that one to my collection recently too. Yeah, I've got some other set. I, if you guys want me to do haul videos, I've got stuff in hauls to do. And one of my good friends from the UK is actually giving me some train stuff. Uh, it's actually, he's giving me a set. Uh, I've got to go and pick it up from him when lockdown ends. We're in lockdown in Sydney, by the way, because our COVID cases are off the charts, but I don't want to go there. Um, but yeah, he's giving me one of my, it's a set I had as a kid that I'd actually been meaning to sort of wanting to bring back next time I'm in the UK, but he's actually found his one in his Lego that he brought back from the UK recently. So he's giving that to me, uh, which is awesome because I was actually going to do a remock of that very set. So now I have an actual one of it to use as a sort of foundation to copy to make the new one. So that's awesome. So I'll have both the old one and the new one. I think I'm going to have to run a couple of trains like a legacy a legacy cargo train and a sort of updated cargo train with things from like the new cargo train and mocks I've built and things like that. That's quite a good idea actually, an old and new one. Anyway, I'm running out of space for sidings. The new Studsburg does have a bucket load of new sidings. I did rearrange a load of stuff and I think it works better, but the sidings are still not long enough. So I'm going to have to sort of take stuff off and put it out when I want to use it and things. So which is not ideal, but it's what it is and it's what's needed to actually keep this room under control. This room is actually a lot more under control than it was, which is good. I do have too much of a backlog. Um, I might have to break some sets down, I think, actually. I'm not sure about that one. I have actually stuff on display up here now as well, which is uh, nice. I've put some shelves up there with some of my some of my favorite sets and a few others there. I do need to reorganize that one. Then we've got Transformers as well. Do, 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 do. Oh, another video as well I want to do, just sort of, yeah, they're busy. Anyone who got the um, Speed Champions mini set knows it came with this lovely little red rally mini. Absolutely awesome. I used to own a, not the old style, the new style mini, but I made one of the old style minis into like the sort of the design that I had. Mine didn't have the racing stripe on it. Come on, focus on the car, not me. Oh, this camera's so temperamental. Um, yeah, I went down the path of, it doesn't want to focus today, it's having a bad focus day. Anyway, I went down the path of building a a mini, sort of using that design, but like a road version of it. So I'm pretty chuffed with how that came out, actually. What I'd really love to do is do that in the British Racing Green, and I spoke to a couple of other people. I'll put a bonnet scoop on it too, just because, you know, I had the Cooper S, it had the bonnet scoop on it. So it's not quite right, but I think it's charming, and I like it, and I'll show you that in a video properly. Um, but wanted to do it in the British Racing Green. The trouble is, gonna need a new design for that because a couple of the parts in this do not come in the dark green that isn't British Racing Green, but it's as near as damn it. So um, yeah, these parts here are the Technic one by two pins with the loop over the top, whatever the hell that's called. And then these are the sort of round one by two plates with the, um, again, Technic parts. So you can put holes in, put, poke things through it. So anyway. Can't do that, so I had to be selective about the colours. And then I also don't have stickers for it. I didn't want to put stickers on it because minis don't have stickers on them generally other than the rally ones. So then trying to actually make it not just look like a grey blob. Um, and I think adding the white to it, really enjoyed that. I had, had a lot of fun. It took me longer than I thought to do it, but I, I did it. I think Tasman saw about four or five versions of it because I just was quick, keep tweaking it to make it a bit better and a bit different. So. Uh, got there in the end, happy with it. So yeah, I've uh, been, been busy, been busy building, been busy doing lots of things. You can tell I am in a happier place than I've been in a very, 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 very long time. Uh, amazing how life gets you down. I will say, um, Pod and Minifigures uh, video really did hit um, hit a nerve with me as well. Like, I mean, I feel for that she was getting, uh, everything was on top of her and she was having people being horrible as well, which is not help. I thankfully haven't had that happen to me and I just, I 
dislike anybody who does that to anybody. I think it's a terrible thing to do. And uh, I'm glad to see that she's um, bouncing back from that as well. But I think we've all sort of been guilty of the putting too much pressure on ourselves to do things. And uh, I know that was one thing I was like, I need to do videos. And, it, and that mental kind of made it worse. <laughs> the irony of this complicated thing in our heads that uh, has a habit of um, making life worse for us when it over, over, overthinks things. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. I just wanted to do an update. I haven't done one for a while. I'm going to get back on doing, sharing my mocks, sharing that. I'm going to try and, and set a decent pace myself of just doing one or two videos a week. doesn't have to be a lot. And we do do a live stream on a Sunday night. I would do it on a Saturday night, but other people stream then and I don't want to tread on their toes. Uh, um, could do Friday maybe. We'll see. Anyway. Um, but the live streams are fun. Got a good network of people uh, building with now. I love it all over the uh, all over the world. It's wonderful. I love Lego. Lego is amazing. So, anyway, I'd love to know while we're here in the comments what kind of content you'd like me to be doing more. Like, you know, what what did you enjoy me doing most? Did you like me doing news videos? You like? I know everyone likes city updates. That's a no brainer. Do you like the mock videos? Like, do you or just want me to sort of try and figure out a way to do? A bit of everything, do news summaries. Like I, I can't necessarily do a a video for every time Lego does a news release, like the one today for the um, football stadium that came out. Um, it's just pushing it too hard. But I can do sort of summary news videos if that's of interest to people. Uh, getting my thoughts on it and sharing what's been happening. I'd love your thoughts on that. Uh, sharing mocks, sharing news, sharing city updates, sharing tutorials as well. Like these cargoes, I've done these before, and I've had people ask lots of times instructions. So yeah, I'll do that. Maybe I'll go down the path of doing um, actual proper printable instructions, but I'm not going to promise on that one because it's a lot of effort. Um, yeah. Anyway, good to see you guys. Let me know in the comments uh, if I waffle too much. Um, or if you want me to do more waffle videos like this, I'm happy to do it. I do enjoy watching Jabbo do his videos. Uh, he, he's such an awesome guy. Love it. Love it. Um, yeah, I know. I'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys.